Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Wells Knight's Realm. And in today's episode, I have a lot of things planned. First thing I want to do is play around with banners a little bit, because if you look at this building, if you look at the armory that we built last episode, and you look at the front, the front is, uh, it's lacking a little bit, shall we say. It's not very interesting. And given that this is the armory where any village guards and stuff like that would store their equipment, I thought it would be really cool to put up a couple of banners here and maybe even hang up some inside as well. So what we need to do is come up with a banner design for the town. Easier said than done. So let's head into the barn. I've got some dye and stuff in here. As you can see, I've been uh, shearing sheep in preparation for this little uh, deal. And I think what we'll need is some oxide daisies, a fair amount of poppy seeds, or of, uh, let's go rose bushes instead. Actually, I really only need just one. Uh, and then I'll need some... Can I make sunflowers into yellow dye? Oh, I can. Okay, perfect. And then orange. I need orange dye. But I can get that mixing yellow and red, so that'll work as well. I have a plan. I spent some time in a creative testing world uh, kind of planning out this banner design, and I was, I'm was i really kind of happy with what I came up with. It's nothing spectacularly uh, complicated or anything like that, but I like the way that it turned out. So, let's see here. Let's grab some ink sacks. Let's grab some wool and some sticks. And I think that's going to be pretty much everything I need, other than a little bit more red dye. But we've got rose bushes and we have bone meal, so that's easy to get. Just bone meal this a little bit and get as many rose bushes as we need. So there you have it. Okay. So, I think that's all in good shape. Now, let's see if we can come up with a banner design. So, the first thing I'm going to want to do is make myself a banner, just like that. Then, I'm going to need some dye. And I believe, if I remember correctly, it was like this. Yep. And then like this. And then we had, oh, I need orange dye. So let's make some of this. And it was an orange dye with an oxide daisy, which gives me this kind of uh, flowery, sunny looking pattern thing. And then for the final touch, I'm going to put one yellow in the middle. And that's what our banner is going to look like. Pretty cool, right? I like it. We got the black, we got the we the red, we got the gold. I think it creates a pretty a pretty nifty effect. Now the good news is, if I want to make more of these, it's really easy to do so. All I need to do is put this banner here and make a few more. So as long as I have one of the originals, I don't need to go through all the crafting craziness all over again. I can just copy it, essentially, from the other banner. While we're there, I think it would probably be best to take a bunch of this equipment that's going to be going into the armory with us, because that's kind of the whole reason we built the armory. So let's do that. You can go in there. Am I missing anything? Shears, maybe? Hmm. Actually, you know what I should do? Is while I'm at it... I should probably bring some leather so we can make item frames. Except uh, I'm a little low on space at the moment. Little bit low on space. Hmm. Do I have anything I can... You know what? I can just dump some of this stuff in my ender chest. That'll work. And then I'll just grab a little bit of leather. And that should do the trick. Is it nighttime already? Oh, man, it is. Let's take a nap. We'll head to the armory, dump this stuff off, and then we can get into the rest of what I want to be doing in today's episode. So, ooh, and actually, does my ender chest have a crafting table in it? No. Problem solved. Okay. So, what we're going to do 
is hang up the banners. I'm thinking we hang one up like here and here, and then maybe a couple of them here and here as well. I think that makes the front significantly more interesting than it was. Not nearly as dull, breaks up the color, gives us some extra color in there, and uh, clearly marks this as the armory, where the soldiers keep all their stuff. Then, we can kind of spread some of this armor out that we have. Probably won't be able to assemble any full suits at this point, but that's okay. The other thing that I want to do is mark these chests. So, for example, we might say that this one is for bows, and all of our bows would go in there. Then these I think we're going to have as tools. Uh, where's that crafting table? You go there. Let's just make a few item frames so I can label stuff. That is not going to be enough item frames. Let's make some sticks. There we go. There, that's much better. And then we can label... Oh, now wait a minute. Hey, I hate how item frames just decide to, like, fly however they want to. Such a weird little thing. There, so we'll make all those item frames like that. And then over here, I don't know how I want to label these. I might not label those at all. But we can say maybe... Hose go in this one. And this will be for kind of our, our like random tools, like shears, for example. Uh, we might say flint and steel in here, and maybe like fishing rods in here. Whoa. Uh, can I? There we go. Fishing rod in there. Then over here. We'll say maybe tools, and over here we'll say maybe weapons. So, you know, just, I'll, I'll organize this a little bit more later on. But for now, I think that's a pretty good start. That'll also clear up a pretty nice amount of space for us up in the house, which is a good thing because we were definitely running a bit low. Let's put a little bit of this stuff away. Oh, I forgot to put all my arrows in there. That was stupid of me. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll just dump this stuff in here for now, and I will sort it out later. Let's grab two chests. Let's grab this spruce wood, because that doesn't belong there. Is there anything else in here that I'm going to need for my project? I don't think so. Probably want some food, though. Just a, just a thought. Yeah. Okay. So, what I want to do... We have gone a very, very long time in this village. Uh, and I have... A secret, uh, another secret base, a behind-the-scenes base, if you will, where I keep all my cows and things like that. However, I'm getting really tired of running all the way through the nether to get there. And I think it's about high time that we set up some pastures and get some sheep and some cows kind of grazing around here, not only as a source of food and leather, but also for wool. Especially now that we've come up with a banner design for the town, so we're probably going to be kind of putting those around throughout the town. And we've got this giant open field here, which is perfect for a pasture. So, let's get started on that. Um, and I still, still managed to come without a crafting table. I just had one moments ago. Ah, <sighs> the struggle is real. Okay. So, let's go ahead and make ourselves a bunch of spruce fences. That is probably not... Actually, I already know that is not going to be nearly enough. Um, let's turn you into sticks. You, in, you into logs. There we go. And let's make a bunch. There we go. That should be enough for now. Now, I need to decide, do I want more than one pasture? I'm kind of thinking I 
do one for sheep and one for cows. Pigs I don't really care about because pigs are pretty much useless. But I think what we'll do is we'll kind of mark out an area here. And what I like to do is kind of vary the shape of my fields a little bit so they're not just boxes. It makes them a little bit more interesting to look at. Uh, I mean, they're not going to be amazing because they are essentially just pastures. But we'll do a few things to kind of fancy them up a little bit if we can. Also want to give myself a whole lot of space, uh, especially with 1.9 coming out, uh, where collision mob collisions uh, with mobs are going to be a thing again, apparently. So if you have too many... Cows, sheep, chickens, whatever, in a close area, uh, they'll run into each other and it's going to cause you all sorts of problems. And I don't really want to deal with that. So we want to give ourselves plenty of space to work with. Oh, I thought it was out already for a second there. That would have made me very, very sad. So we'll do something like this. So this is a pretty good starting point for a pasture. Now, the problem is, well, there's a few things. First of all, lighting. Eh, not so much. Second of all, um, there's no way to get in it. Well, we're going to fix both of those right now. So, let's grab some spruce wood planks. And one real easy way to kind of spruce up the pasture a little bit is to give it a proper entranceway. So, maybe what we do is we go like this. Build this up too high because we obviously don't want the mobs climbing up over the fence. That doesn't do us any good. And then maybe we go and make ourselves a couple of stairs and a slab or two and kind of work those in to the design a little bit. So maybe we go like that and like this and then over and over. And can I reach that from here? Nope, definitely not. Can I reach it if I jump? Oh, look at that. And there we go. Now we've got ourselves a proper entranceway. And we can maybe throw a couple torches up. And that makes the pasture just by itself already look a little bit more interesting. The next thing we're going to need is probably some gates. And that is not the recipe for gates. That is the recipe for gates. And actually, I'm going to need two of them. There we go. So we'll put one here and one here. And then they can open up and let us in. So we're off to a relatively good start. This can be one of our pastures. And we could probably even dress this up a little bit more. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I have another idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab some more supplies I'm going to get it done because it's very simple, and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back, and I have made a couple very minor changes. All I did was swap these out for cobblestone blocks and lay down some cobblestone walls underneath. And you can see that's already a lot more interesting than it was. Uh, and the reason for that is pretty much twofold. First and foremost, it adds a very minuscule layer of depth because you've got some kind of indents in the texture of the wall, and you've got gaps in between and stuff like that. It also adds some color contrast. Just those two things alone, even though it's an extremely slight change, makes this look a little bit better than it did. So, the next thing we can do is lighting, because it is a pasture, but if we don't light it up properly, we're going to get nasty things spawning in here, and we don't particularly want that. So, maybe what we'll do, just to kind of solve that problem, is lay down some really simple lights, just like this. And then, torch them up. How's that look? Mmm... Mmm, I'm not loving that light design. But, torch spam is also really not an option here. 
What do we want to do? Could maybe hide some lighting. We could do a little landscaping in here. But that wouldn't work very well then with all the animals because they would just destroy our landscaping. Hmm. We could hide lighting around the edges directly on the fences, but it wouldn't reach inwards enough to completely protect the area. Let me think on that one for a little bit. I still might end up putting light posts in there. Haven't really decided yet. But we do definitely have at least one more field that is in need of building. So let me get a second field built here, guys, and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back, and I'm almost done with this other pasture. So we'll get this. Just come around the edge. We're going to use the same basic design. Oh. Hey, you. You're not supposed to go over there. You're supposed to go right here. And there we go. So we now have two relatively large pastures. Uh, we'll do our little staircase magic thing like this just to make that bit a little bit better looking which is the same design as we did over there and then last but not least I need once again two gates and we can just plop those down right there whoa whoa Nelly Right there. There we go. So we have two pastures. And they both go together fairly well. And one thing that I did was I kind of connected them up here to make them look like they're all kind of one big complex, which is what I was going for. We will eventually take this road and probably connect it up to both and have it split like right here. And then probably have it kind of go off this way as well. Uh, maybe we'll have some sort of like docks or fishing area over here eventually. But the next step is animals. So we have a couple ways we can do this. Um, I could make leads, which honestly is probably the easier option. Uh, let me see if I have any slime balls, though. I'm not entirely sure that I do, even though there is a swamp, like, right there. Um, but we'll go check. We'll go check and see if we have any slime balls. If we do have slime balls and string, we'll make leads. Oh, I do. I totally have. Okay, we're good. So, let's make, like, eight leads, because I have a nasty habit of losing them. Often. There we go. 16 leads. That is plenty. That will do just fine. Okay. So, chest goes in there. Uh, this other stuff I will put away later. And... I think we're good. I'm going to get out my leads. I'll get out my, oh, my wheat. And I think we are ready to go animal hunting. So... Though I did see one sheep, like, right over here. And we should probably figure out what we want to put in each pen. Let's see, which one's bigger? Um, I think they're probably about the same size, honestly. Maybe we'll go cows here and sheep here. That's probably the, the wise decision. Let's grab this stuff up with us, because I have this horrible feeling that I'm going to need my bed very shortly since it tends to become night whenever I decide to go do something. Uh, let's open up these gates. Get rid of the one random flower. Take a nap. And I'm going to go try and find some sheep and stuff. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got my sheep. All the sheep I need. I did grab one from right over there as well. But we've got three sheep right here. And this should do the trick, assuming they all come in easily. Yay! Thank you, sheep, for cooperating. I do appreciate it. 
So we've got the start of our sheep farm. And let's go ahead and get them breeding, like, right off the bat. Make some baby sheeps. Because we are going to need a lot of wool. And now it's off to find cows. Luckily for me, I think I saw a couple right over there when I was grabbing some sheep. I think there was two of them over there. I saw at least one. Yeah, there's one. Please be another cow. Oh, another cow. Excellent. Okay. All right. You are Bessie. And I will call this one... Um... Let's see. Bessie and, um... China. I'll call the other one China. My wife, Mrs. Wells. Mrs. Wells was raised on a farm. And if I remember correctly, her first cow was named China. She was raised on a dairy farm here in Wisconsin. Uh, so that's why I decided to name it China. Come on. Let's go. There we go. And Bessie and China, they're going in here. And they're going to make cow babies. All right. Wheat, wheat. Get that. And we now have the start of a decent cow farm and a decent sheep farm. Yay! So, that is out of the way. We got a banner design done. All in all, guys, I think we are good for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. Oh, one more thing before I forget. Before I forget. I've been toying around with the idea of updating to 1.9 or specifically to the snapshots for 1.9. I oh I was totally going to talk about this and then I completely forgot. So, let's talk about this a little bit. Well, I work on the road right here because I'm just kidding about ending the episode right this moment. I will end the episode shortly. 1.9. So, Obviously, there's some pretty cool stuff that's coming. Um, flight, apparently, is coming. Well, not flight, per se, but gliding, which some people are extremely excited about. I'm kind of meh about it, uh, because it's not going to let me build any better, and I'll probably just spend most of the time crashing into things. But, you know, you know, it's, it's okay. It's all good. Um, so... Wanted to get your thoughts. There are some cool new blocks coming. Purper looks kind of nasty, but I think Endstone Brick, maybe, would be a good thing. Um, also, there's some really cool stuff that you can do with trapdoors and iron fences and bar or iron bars. And what else are they doing? Uh, little modifications to um, uh, fences. Yeah, yeah, wooden fences trapdoors, and then we got, like, the purple blocks and some of that kind of stuff. I would be able to tort... I would be able to have two things equipped at once. There's shields. There's some cool stuff coming, um, but it is only snapshot, uh, which means it is not finished, and it could break some things, um, in the world, and that scares me just a little bit. I don't want my world broken, I've already spent quite a lot of time doing things in this world, and the idea of it breaking, uh, frankly, terrifies me a little bit. So, let me know what you think. I would, of course, be making a, uh, a backup copy of the world if I do decide to update. Um, or I might just hold off for the official release of 1.9. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Should I upgrade to the snapshots, or should I just keep playing 1.8? until uh, the development gets a little farther and until uh, or until 1.9 fully releases. Really curious to hear your thoughts on that. But now I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Please let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on that whole matter. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. 
Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.